What's up guys? Nerdy Noob here and I have an unboxing video for you. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the 2016 August Loot Gaming Box. Boop, boop. If you're interested in getting this box, I'm going to put all the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Alright, the first item we got is this, or this. Let's see if I remember how to say this correctly. I think it's Deus X. If I remember what you guys said in the comments, it's either, yeah, Deus, because I remember saying Day and Us. Deus X. Mankind Divided. This is a loot gaming exclusive. It's a little figure from Square Enix, Eidos, Montreal, and Deus X. Let's see if I can do a little bit of a close-up. So there he is. He's pretty small. He's probably a teeny bit bigger than a mystery mini, like a Funko mystery mini. Next, we have whatever's in this box. Whoa, what is this? It's quite heavy. I thought it was going to be coasters, but I don't think it I don't think it is. Whoa. Okay, so this is Oh, it's a claptrap and this is from Borderlands 2 and it's a bottle opener. It's a magnetic bottle opener, so there's magnets on this side, and then you put the um, bottle right here, and it's like... Choo -choo. How come they never give us any wine openers in these boxes? What the heck? What the heck, guys? This is cool. I like this item a lot. It's super heavy duty, and I like that it has magnets on it, because that just makes it easier to keep track of. Just throw it on your fridge, and boom. I'm never going to be able to get this back in this box. Okay. We'll just take off the tissue paper. All right, then we got a hat. This is what the hat looks like, the design. And this is from a game called Lawbreakers. So there we go. It's just a red and black cap. We've been getting a lot of hats lately. I'm not a huge fan. I don't wear a lot of hats, so I'm not a huge fan. This is a loot gaming exclusive, though. I do like this design, though. It's kind of cool. All right, we got a patch. This patch is one that you can just, I think it's an iron-on patch. I don't know what this is from. I have no idea, but it's a little bit shiny. It's got like a shiny brown tint to it. We have our Loot Gaming pin. It's, uh, I guess the theme is Mecca for August 2016. It's like a hand on the pin. That's what the design is. Mecha, human versus machine. All right, the last item before we do a recap is our shirt. This is a Loot Gaming exclusive shirt, men's medium. It is black. It's like a slim fit shirt. It says Destiny on it. Now, I don't really know about this shirt, but I like this design a lot. Like, I don't know what it is. I like the... I just like the way that the design looks, and then I like the colors in the background for some reason. So, I like it. I would wear this shirt. <laughs> Let's do a recap. See what we got in here. Alright, here we go. The first item that we got is our Clap Trap from Borderlands bottle cap, magnetic bottle cap. This is super cool. It's metal. It's all metal. It's really heavy. Whoa. It's really heavy, heavy duty. I, this is one of the better bottle cap openers I've ever received. I'm going to go ahead and give that $6. You probably could give that more. I really like that item. It's probably one of my favorites in this box. The next item we got is a, a Deus Ex uh, Mankind Divided Adam Jensen figure. So if you're a fan of this game, it's a pretty cool figure. And then there's this exclusive QR code. I don't know if you can scan it through a video. Probably not. But I guess you can get some kind of like special footage. Uh, I'm going to give this, it's not like a Funko Pop, but it is an exclusive. I'll go ahead and give that, I don't know. I'm going to give it $10 only because it's an exclusive. I feel like it's like a, an exclusive mystery mini. Mystery minis, I give $6. I guess I could just give it 8 but I'll be really nice and give it 10 because I really don't know how much it's worth, but it's not something you can buy at the store. We have our Destiny tee. It features the Hunter, the Titan, and the Warlock. Um, this shirt's really cool. It's super soft, and it's a little bit slim fitting, which I like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give that $10. And then we got our hats from Lawbreakers. It's a snapback, black and red, with the... Lawbreakers logo on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and give that ten dollars. And then we had our loot pin, our mecha coin pin, they call it in the loot game box, coin pins. That's gonna go ahead and get three dollars. So according to my pricing, this box is worth 
$39. I believe I paid $30 for this box, so you got $9 extra value on top of what you paid for it. Um, you definitely, well, I think I priced the figure a teeny bit high, but you probably could give the hat a um, maybe a dollar or two more, and I think you might even be able to give this bottle cap opener a little bit more. That's definitely my favorite item in the box. I've never played Borderlands, but I have this weird, like, not obsession, it's not an obsession, but whenever I get a Borderlands item, I like getting the Claptrap. I don't know why, I don't even know what it is, but I just like it. It's weird. It's such a weird, like, thing, but I don't know, I just, I like it a lot. There was one person who got a, a legendary drop. I don't know what it was, like, some kind of computer, I think. I did not get that. Um, oh, oh, I'm sorry, and we have this patch, which will get $3, because it's pretty big. So, I'm sorry, this box is worth $12 extra value top what you paid for. Did I just completely miss that in the booklet? Where was the patch? Oh, here it is. It's from Bioshock. Bioshock Big Daddy Patch. I can't believe I missed that. So, $12 extra value top what you paid for isn't bad. For a $30 box, you want at least $10, so that's good. We hit the base of that. I don't want to ruin this hat. Let's see, how do we put this back? Definitely $15 usually makes it a little bit better, but it's not, it's not bad. Like... That's not bad at all. As with every loot gaming box I get, I don't play any of these games, so it's not, I'm not a huge fan of this box in general. The only reason I kept, I actually canceled it and then I got it back because a lot of you guys were asking about it. So uh, this box is one of those ones for you guys, but I did like the Claptrap bottle opener and I did really like the shirt. So I actually don't mind this box. I wish it got a little bit more value. I wish it hit that $15 point, but that's okay. $12 isn't bad. Uh, and like, like I was saying, you could add a couple dollars to certain things, I think, potentially. Give and take. If I had to rate this box, I'd probably give this box a, a 4.25 out of 5 noobs because I like the items that it came with. Like, you got a figure, you got a bottle opener, you know, the, the patches, whatever. The pin's actually nice. The shirt, the hat. It was a good mixture of items, I suppose. Um, so I'm a fan of that, and it had decent value. Um, not the best value, and that's where it was lacking. That's why it didn't get a higher rating for me. So I'd say 4.25 out of 5 noobs. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. Uh, did you like it? What would you rate it? Did you think the value was there? What was your favorite item? Etc. Etc. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which I did update finally this morning. I made a few of them. Um, but it's just a way to say thank you to all of you guys who subscribe. So um, that's coming up right now, but make sure, you're, make sure your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private. I don't know if I said that or not. Uh, Anyways, um, that's coming up right now, but just a quick heads up, if you didn't see the video that hopefully I posted before this, I'm doing a live stream tomorrow, which is Sunday, September 4th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to be doing a bunch of re-unboxings because I have a room full of boxes that I need to unbox and sort so that I can start selling stuff to you guys, but I can't sell stuff to you guys until I've done that. So um, that's what I'm going to be working on tomorrow, so hopefully you can join me, and if not, no worries, but... Alright guys, have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Bye!